Hello my friends, uh, Lightroom Classic and Photoshop Camera Raw got a new update and now we have Denoise AI. This is a very, very nice upgrade. It works so well and that's what I will show you in this video. Also, we will compare it to Topaz Denoise, which you guys know I've been using for years and love. I chose this image to work with. If we look, this image was shot at ISO 640, which is not very high, but it does have a lot of noise. I already did some uh, edits on this. This is the original image. This is my edited version. And if I go zoom in at 100%, you see there is some noise. I'm gonna zoom in at 200 just so you can see it on YouTube. There's plenty of noise here. And where you will find this new uh, Denoise AI is it back into detail panel just where we had uh, the noise reduction previously. And now we have this button that says Denoise. If you do not want to use Denoise AI, the new one, you can click on this little arrow and you can do the manual noise reduction, which is the old one that we've been, you know, having now for years. So let's see this image. To keep track of these images, this image, I am going to flag it with, um, let's see, I'm going to rate it with number one. This is our first image. So now we see it has a star. This is our original image without the denoise applied. So now let's click on this denoise and see how Lightroom does. When you click on the denoise, Lightroom Classic will make a copy of it. And this copy will be a DNG file. So it is non-distractive. It will not affect your original image. So you see now we are, um, we're having this interface here. You can move around and you see I had a lot of color noise in there. If you click on the image, you see the preview before. You see all that magenta and green colored noise. And when I let go, you see the image already with the noise applied. And so again, this is the before, this is the after. When you do this denoise, automatically goes the amount at 50%. If you feel like you need more denoise, de you can increase it to 100 or whatever you need. But from the test I've done, I feel like 50% works on every single image. So again, this is the before, this is the after. So now I will just click on Enhance and Lightroom will take about uh, a minute or so to create this new image with the denoise applied. So let's see how it works. You can see here on the left top, it says creating DNG using denoise. We see the progress bar. My computer, it's not the fastest computer. If you have a faster computer, it will probably work even faster. But I feel like it's not bad at all. It's not like uh, Luminar Neo. Luminar Neo works very, very slow. And this is honestly just as fast as Topaz Denoise. But we'll see that in a second when I will do it on Topaz Denoise. And just like that, Lightroom created the image over here that is denoised and you can see the name of the image got changed to enhance nrdng so we know this is the one that was noise reduct uh, had noise reduction on it so if i go to the previous image this is the one with the noise it's loading right now there you go you see all the noise and then this is the one where the denoise was applied i'm gonna rate this one too so we know this is our second image with the denoise applied and let's see it at fit to screen. This is the original image with the noise. And this is with the denoise. I don't see any kind of artifacts. Everything seems to be, this is at 100%. The sharpness is still there. There's no artifacts. Everything is looking great. Now let's take the original image and do it in Topaz denoise and then we can compa compare those two. So I clicked on my first image, the original one, and I'll go to photo, edit in Topaz Denoise AI. And I'll edit with the copy with Lightroom adjustments. That way we have a copy just like we did in the you know, Lightroom Denoise. And there we are into Topaz Denoise. I'm gonna put both of those on auto. Let's see. Topaz Denoise does tend to over sharpen things a little bit. Um, so what I usually like to do is enhance sharpness, take it down, not all the way down, but almost all the way down. So let's see if we can zoom in at 200%. And this is before and after, before and after, and that is looking great. I'm going to apply this denoise to my image. 
and I'm going to name this file. I'm going to rate it three stars so we know this is the one. You see, when you send things to Topaz Denoise, they end up as a TIFF file. And then the Lightroom um, AI Denoise, it's a DNG file. And then our original image is, a, you know, my Sony RAW image. Now, what I want to do is select my image that I removed the noise into Lightroom. And we can see this is the enhanced DNG. Then I'll hold down command and click onto the image we uh, removed noise into Topaz Denoise. And then I'll click on the comparison mode and we can look side by side to see which one did a better job. Again, on the left side, we have the Lightroom version and on the right side, we have the Topaz Denoise. There is a little bit of color variation. You see the Lightroom has a little bit more green over here where here is more brown. I don't know why the color is changed, but the noise itself, it's pretty much identical, no noise. The reason why I made this comparison is because I've never liked the Lightroom noise removal that I had previously. And that's why I purchased the Topaz Denoise and I've been using it. But now after this update, I honestly think that there is no need for Topaz Denoise. Lightroom does an awesome, awesome job of removing noise. And there is no artifacts. The images are still very sharp, no noise. And it's so, so easy to use. I hope this was helpful to you and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.